Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Oluwa Sheyi Salako and I'm glad to have you back. Thank you for always coming back to this channel and if you're new on my channel, please subscribe and give the thumbs up to all my videos. Thank you so very much. We are heading to a thousand subscribers by the 30th of May, which is my birthday. I'll be glad if you join us because I'm sure we're going to celebrate on this channel on the 30th of May. It will be your gift to me to subscribe onto this channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I made this t-shirt for myself. There's this trend going on and it's a very cool trend. And we've jumped on the trend as, a trend as well. The trend is called the Spiral Betty. But the Spiral Betty has only secular Spiral Betty going on around. Like if you're somebody like me, I get quickly tired of something and I want something new. I want to be innovative with anything I do. So my innovation drove me to this. And I have a good news for you. There are other shapes that you can make of the same spiral betting. Please stay tuned to the end of this tutorial because in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I made this, what you should look out for, the mistakes I made, which I would not like you to make. And also at the end, there will be a question which you have to leave a comment for me in the comment box. In order to make different shapes of this cool trend, we want to search for Lime Sublime on Google. This website is for creating custom wall art. We then scroll down to where it asks us to choose image. When we click on this, we can choose images saved on our device. Once we upload our desired image, we can crop it by dragging the slider to position our image. I will like the headshot of this image which I got from Design Bundles. You can use any picture you like as long as they are not PDF because this website does not allow PDF format. The circle spiral shape is the default shape. Then this is the font part. We can now choose the shape which we want. There are five options to sh choose from. We have the circle, we have the star, we have the heart, and there is also the triangle and the downward facing triangle. This has so much choice for us. And we also have 10 free colors to choose from. This is especially useful when we are doing sublimation with our spiral betty. Now let's compare this to the popular spiral betty on spiralbetty.com. Just as we did before, we choose our image from our device and upload on spiralbetty.com. Just as we did on line sublime. Then we position or crop as desired. The difference in both websites is that Spiral Betty allows us more options. We can choose how we want the ring to be, and there's just more options of editing the image. And this gives us the choice to control what we want a final image to look like. We are able to set ring size, scale the picture, we are also able to adjust the lightning and also to contrast. This is very useful for silhouette cameo users especially as we need clearer pictures or images to be able to trace our images properly. So for this reason, I will advise that if we are doing a circle spiral betty, we stay with spiralbetty.com. But for more options on the shapes, we go to Line Sublime. In order to be able to sell our images, both Line Sublime and Spiral Betty have a cost, a commercial cost. For commercial uses in Spiral Betty, there is a fee of $25 for a whole year, which I think is really reasonable. If a year's license is only $25 and then we're able to sell this trending um, 
Minecraft, then that would be a good one. Let us keep this website free for ourselves because this is a free website that has this much option. By donating a free coffee to spiralbetty.com. So now let's go back to Line Sublime as that is the purpose of this tutorial and choose the shape which we would like to use. I would like to use the heart shape. Like I said before, we have 10 free colors, but if we want to upload our own color or even to remove their logo from our image, there is a charge of $5 for each image that we make. Anyways, we are okay with the free version. And now let's download, let's move to our heart shape and then download. When you click on the create your image button, it only takes a few seconds to get our image ready for download. Once our image has been downloaded onto our device, we want to open a silhouette studio and move the image there. The image has been downloaded as a JPEG file and we will need to convert it so our cameo can read it. This we will do by tracing the image. We would also avoid tracing the line sublime logo as it is not needed. I have had a lot of questions on tracing. The trace button is one of the buttons on the right side in Silhouette Cameo. It's the one that looks like toast or sliced bread. So we've traced our image. All we need to do now is to resize and add a color in order to see what it will look like before we cut it. If we are using heat transfer vinyl, we would also need to flip horizontal before we send it to the machine. It was a bit easy for my Ciliad Cameo 4 to cut this project. All it had to do was go in circle and circle and circle, which is, it's a fun bit for me as well as I think as the machine. <laughs> but the weeding process was a bit difficult at first. As I missed the first one, which I cut, and I had to cut another one. I had to make another vinyl, but this time I was more careful with the weeding. To help with the weeding process, I had to tape the vinyl down to avoid lifting. It was so satisfying seeing my project come to life. This is a really cool project and I really, really, really love the end result of it. This is basically the process. But I would like to hear from you. Do you think this trend would last? If so, for how long? Please leave a comment. I pressed my vinyl on my t-shirt at 315 for 12 seconds. Then removed the carrier and repressed for another 3 seconds. And the result was satisfying. Thank you so much for staying to the end of this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.